think it does. Other than knock your Pikmin away, I don't think it does anything. It's great though, coming back, you know, a few years later and playing this game and then realizing how much shit everything else is. Now you can finally appreciate this game. Well, you should. There's actually bugs like this in real life. I remember watching a whole bunch of stuff about them back when I used to watch TV a lot. Bugs, bugs that look like sticks, bugs that look like leaves, you know, all to fool their, their, uh, their predators. Interesting stuff. Damn, we are mobbing them, man. Hey, we're gonna whack ya. Put out a heat on ya. That's the way down. I think we're good. Tomato. That's all there is on this floor. One tomato. Hey, we put out the heat on ya. I'm gonna whack ya, you see? Love Nugget. That's it. That's all there was. Why is a tomato a love nugget, though? Is it because it looks like a heart and it's red? I don't know. Let's go deeper. Five floors, six floors, seven floors? I don't remember. Just keep going and going until we can't go no more. Citadel of Spiders. Oh yeah, here we go. Flame geysers. You can also shut these down too. In this game. Yeah, we're gonna tear this shit down instantly. What's with that noise? Dun 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 Nothing fell. Still don't trust it. You can actually put these out with other Pikmin too if you time it right. You don't necessarily need to take red Pikmin, but obviously it's a bit better. Shit, we got... Okay, this is all flame, so we only need our reds here. Whole floor is nothing but red Pikmin right here. This is their time to shine. Yeah, they have a lot less health in this game. I just realized that, you know, because I play both these games pretty much consecutively. We have a lot less health. 
guess they realized, you know, that they, it was way too bothersome if you didn't have 60 Pikmin to kill them. Alright, he had something. Now we need to kill these things. The only way to kill them is to attach a Pikmin to their body. And when, they try, when they're about to die, they release, like, whatever their element is. I remember this. And they also like to mimic their prey. See, they're carrying it. I mean, not their prey, you know, they're scavengers. Oh, Pikmin will automatically jump on them? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you had to hit them. Okay. Ah. You can't use C-Stick commands, you have to use uh, X or Throw. Right, another bottle cap. There must be five of them. Royal Crown Cola. Creative Inspiration. Oh, whoops, they didn't suck it up. There's some lipstick. Lip service. <laughs> All right. Ooh, missing one. What the hell? Oh, no, I'm not. Wait, what? Oh, one red with, with him. Lip service. Oh, this one's weird. It's a duck head, if I remember correctly. That's right, even if you whistle on Pikmin, if they're controlled by another captain, you can't get them unless you whistle the captain. Oh, come on. Again, one Pikmin gets one a whole nectar to himself. That's not fair. This is um, I forget what it is. The paradoxical eneg enigma. Yes, I remembered it. I don't get why it's a paradoxical en enigma. I really don't. A duck head. Why it can't exist without its body or something, but the fact that it exists without its body is a paradox and a mystery? What the hell? I don't get it. I don't get it. I never understood that. Some of these names I get, some of them I don't. Obviously, they wouldn't make a name without, you know, having a good reason behind it, I hope, but I never understood that particular name. Shit, take cover. Here's another good soundtrack. Well, that's worthless. We need yellows in this one. Got him. Alright, now he can get to work on these things. 
Ching, I got that cash money flow. Oh, he's he's done. He's so done. What? That didn't make any sense. I thought if you get so many Pikmin on him, he can't stand up. Well, he did. So I remember wrong. He must have to have like 80 or something on him. Maybe 60. Da 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 I would try for a speed run. I wouldn't try for a zero death run. That that's ridiculous. Like you have to have a strategy for like every possible encounter. Like that's too much. I, you know what it is? It's probably hoarding sprays is what it is. Like, if you have a bunch of sprays, you just spray down your enemies and then spray your Pikmin and then you kill them instantly. And you just do that for, like, every single encounter. I, I don't know. I haven't looked this up, so I'm just guessing right here. But it's, it's a high probability, so... Just me knowing what this game is like. That's just me guessing. I know what this game is like. I've, I've played this game multiple times. Well, I mean, every time I, you know, every time I play a game, I always find something I didn't, I never knew. But you know what? That's part of the beauty of some of these games. You can play them multiple times and still never know everything. Context being weird, but that's what I like about some of these games. You can play them endlessly, man, for like years on end, and you know, every time you find a different way to do something, or you know, it's just so much fun. Let's grab this chestnuts, water chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Patience tester, because they're so delicious, but you gotta open it first before you can get at it. Alright, so let's find the final treasure. Aha, it's buried. You need white Pikmin. All I have to do is lead them over it, and they'll immediately start digging for it. Apparently, you also get healed after every dungeon. Okay, I don't remember that either. Oh, shit! You saw that, right? Everyone started digging that up. Everyone. Yep, it's part of a clam. Memorial shell for the other half and for the actual uh, creature inside that is now dead. 